So you're working everything, okay? So if you're doing these four exercises, you're gonna get amazing shapely shoulders. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com. All right, in this video, I'm gonna give you four of my favorite exercises to build big shoulders using nothing but dumbbells, all right? Dumbbells, there's a lot of different types of exercises I could have chosen. However, I chose the ones that are gonna be better for overall growth, overall development. So we're targeting anterior delts, medial delts, and rear delts. So we're trying to hit all of it. So that's why you're gonna see me doing a variation of exercises. That being said, the very first one we're gonna do is something you may not have done before. They're TYIs. And I'm gonna show you how to do these on an incline bench. I prefer doing them on an incline bench. All right, let's see here. Basically what you're doing is you're using your body and you're gonna make a T formation, Y formation, and an I formation. So start, T, Ys are up and out, and then straight up, I. All of that is one rep. So I'm gonna suggest eight to 10 reps here. So basically that would have only been one. So then we're gonna go T, nice and slow, Y, I, T, Y. So you one more, T, Y, I. The cool thing about this exercise is you're hitting your rear delts with the T movement medial and anterior with the Y movement and a lot of anterior, even hitting your traps with the I movement. So great big bang for your buck exercise, all right? So TYIs, now let me get this bench set up and I'm gonna show you my second exercise. Seated, of course, seated Y press. Basically the main difference, you've probably done regular seated overhead shoulder presses. This difference here, let's get down here. All right, difference here is again, back into a Y formation. So instead of straight overhead, like most dumbbell presses, we're wanting to maintain tension, maintain tension in the delts. A lot of medial delts here as well. We're coming out, out here, creating a Y with the body. Back down, back out, down, out. So if you haven't done these, it's a little bit of a different angle, but you're gonna be keeping the tension in these delts by doing these. So it's another great movement. All right, so from here, we'll be using those again for the fourth exercise. But the third exercise, I've demonstrated in a few other videos and that should tell you something. I like this one a whole lot. It's a side lateral to front raise. So once again, side, front, down, back up. That's one rep, okay? Here the goal is gonna be 10 to 12 reps. So that's only one. So you can see there's gonna be a lot of blood flow with this exercise. But again, you're gonna be getting a ton of shoulder work, we're working the front delts, medial delts, you're feeling all of it when you're doing this. This also makes, it's a great finishing exercise, so you can do this at the end of your workout to get a tremendous pump, all right? Okay, last exercise, we're gonna get into another uh, shoulder press. I like shoulder presses for overall mass. We've done the Y press, this one, I didn't want to keep to the traditional uh, exercises. If you've done those, I'm sure. I wanted to give you some variations. Not only variations, but they're optimal exercises. You saw that side lateral front raise, all around shoulder work, TYI, all around shoulder work, Ys designed to really focus on keeping the tension in the delts. Now we're going to be doing seated, but the thing with these seated uh, overhead presses is you're keeping a supinated grip. Meaning, let me show you with my hands first. Palms are down, 
pronated grip. Rotating them out this way is a supinated grip. So the way I was taught to remember this over 24, 25 years ago was think about uh, getting a bowl of soup and you're souping that out. You're scooping the soup out. Supination, okay? That stuck with me forever. It may not help you, but it's helped me forever. So opposite of supination is pronation. So when I say supinated grip, palms rotating in just like this. And you're gonna keep the supinated hand position. So you're starting here and ending here. Here, keep your core tight. Press up, down, up, down. Also, when you're down, you don't need to come all the way down here. That's gonna strain your shoulders. So from here, it's basically right here in front of my face, right back up. This is a lot of anterior delts. So the front part of your delts is what we're really focusing on with this supinated overhead press. All right, so that's gonna be my fourth exercise. So you've got two pressing style exercises. You've got two utilizing various lateral movements, side lateral, bent lateral, front laterals. So you're working everything, okay? So if you're doing these four exercises, you're gonna get amazing shapely shoulders. You're not gonna have overdeveloped front shoulders, which is what a lot of people do. There's a lot of men that have really overdeveloped shoulders, anterior shoulders. The problem with that in a lot of cases, not only does it look funny, but it tends to take away a lot of your chest work when you're doing chest day. So to avoid that, make sure you're balancing out your physique. We're working those medial delts, which is the sides, rear delts, the posterior delts, the back, and the anterior. Hitting all of them, if you do these four exercises, do three sets of each, all right? So we're talking 12 total sets. You can even do them with a 60 second rest. That's the cool thing about shoulders, they tend to recover quickly. So 60 seconds rest, get into the second set. 60 seconds rest again, knock out that third, all right? You do that, you're gonna get through this workout quickly. If you really wanna focus on growing your shoulders, do this twice a week, all right? Not back to back days, usually two or three days rest in between. So not even every other. Do it on a Monday, take Tuesday, Wednesday off, do it on a Thursday or a Friday. Okay, and you can use that type of schedule. That's gonna add frequency and intensity to your shoulder work, which is gonna allow you to actually start growing shoulders. So anyways, if you like this video, guys, I hope it helps you out. Give me a thumbs up, let me know. Also comment if you have any questions on the exercises, the structure, the techniques, anything at all like that. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. That being said, get busy, get after it. God bless.